Medical breakthroughs happen every day. Just in the years I've been hosting this show, we've seen remarkable advancements. We're talking scientists harnessing the power of your immune system to take on previously incurable diseases like cancers. But how is that even possible? Well, Dr. Frieda Lewis Hall, Chief Medical Officer of Pfizer, is with me now to help explain. Welcome back. Thank you so much. Yeah, always great to be here. Well, before we talk about advances in cancer research, let's start by saying that cancer is not one disease. Many people think that, but it's hundreds of diseases. So we're now in a position where we can manage some, we can cure some, and some we still have a long way to go on. Cancer cells represent the abnormal growth of our cells. And cancer cells can spread by influencing the cells around it to behave in ways that they normally would not. Now, new cancer therapies are being looked at that are at that cellular level and involving the immune system in the fight. This is called immunotherapy. It's such an exciting time because our immune system, that's the body's defense mechanism, is designed to destroy foreign invaders. But cancer cells, they're tricky. They start with your body's own cells and some disguise themselves so the immune system doesn't recognize them as the enemy. To make matters worse, cancer cells can work to weaken your immune system. Now, share with us some of the advances that are being made to help that immune system that, you know, maybe it's failing to recognize invading cancer cells. So if you stop and think of um, cancer as a burglar, for example, and your immune system as the, both the alarm system and the security team that's gonna get sent um, as a detail to kind of take care of that threat. So if you have that picture in mind, how does that happen in the body? It happens through proteins and antibodies that instruct cells on how to behave. So now we have the ability to give man-made versions of those to cancer patients so that we can instruct their cells to behave in a way to fight the cancer. Here is um, an example of a T cell that's a part of the body's immune system. This T cell is killing cancer cells. We now have the power to engineer cells so that they have kind of uh, enemy recognizing powers of immune system antibodies. Then you can instruct these cells to recognize, to attack, and to kill cancer cells. And you don't have to be a scientist. You all saw that video. How cool to see the immune system literally recognizing and attacking when you're generally healthy. Your body uses something known as checkpoint proteins to help keep your immune system on a leash so that it doesn't damage your normal cells while it's attacking abnormal ones. But when you have cancer, what you wanna do is you wanna harness all that power of your immune system to fight back against the cancer. The good news is there are now substances that can block the activity of those checkpoint proteins so that you can unleash your immune system and that response has more power to destroy those cancer cells that you want destroyed. So this is such exciting work, but I, we have to be cautious, right? Because it's not a magic bullet. Um, what we're learning is that immunotherapy works better in some cancers than it does in other cancers. And in many cases of cancer, the combination of immunotherapy with other cancer treatments works better. From immunotherapy to therapies that target specific genetic mutations to vaccines that may prevent cancer, um, all of these things are happening. Cancer research is really on the move. So if you or someone you know has been diagnosed with cancer, have ongoing conversations with your healthcare team because new treatments, they're often coming out each and every day. Cancer treatment advancements happen through clinical research. So I just wanna take a minute to say to everyone who has ever been in a clinical trial and to the people who helped them do so, thank you. It's such important work. For more information on advances in cancer research and for information if you're searching for a clinical trial, people can go to gethealthystayhealthy.com. And as always, you can visit thedoctorstv.com. We'll be right back.